Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, what we're we doing this week? Well, we're going to continue doing a room for the descent build. So we're going to be looking at putting on windows and doors. These are 3D printed and uh, will be available through the Facebook page very soon. So let's get down to the table and get cracking. Right, so we have our original descent tile. As you can obviously tell, I've blown this up. Made it a bit bigger. Next two inches aside. The reason behind this, I'd actually like to put in the bed, maybe a little unit here and maybe a table. So I'm just going to do that, it starts to take room out. Yes you can jump on things and that within it, but they're still slightly bigger. These are twisted sort of the scale a little bit because there's no way a normal figure would probably fit in that bed. You wouldn't fit on the chair, bum wouldn't fit. So got prints and things been put in for the furniture so hence the blow up the room but the trouble is when you put the walls on first thing you're going to need you need some doors we need some windows with descent the doors are or the entrance ways are two inches but when you actually look that bit's closed off that bit's closed off so really it's almost one inch sat in the middle and we need to offset them. So the easy way to do this is get our walls. So we could go there and there. I am thinking I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here as the middle. And then this one, one, two, here to the middle just like that so we move the main piece out of the way and we'll get the tools to cut them right so we've got a mark we bring up our cutter put a piece at the back here just to make sure it's square just put the bang smack in the middle like that the arch is the right way Oops, I think I just waggled it. There we go. We get a hammer. And work our way around. So I think the three and turn it over this and use this to press like that and it pops out the door you see it's taking a little bit out there that doesn't matter and in the center of the punch it's a hole to push out the middle so the door it looks slightly rough but what we do is we're going to fit this will fit around the door through the frame. Now let's see, stand this up so you can see it. So, have a frame like that. We have our print, some printed doors. Then you slide in. Once this is stuck, obviously, it'll be a lot easier. There you go. Like that. So when the person comes through, you can actually take the door out without taking the frame out, obviously. And you have your entrance way. So let's go and cut the other one. Make sure I get the door the right way around. Like that. There. Screw it up. Get your hammer. So, let's be 
Cool. Let's get that out. And don't worry about it if it goes a little bit wide. As this will cover up a multitude of sins. So there we have our two doors cut using a door cutting stamp. Which is obviously the size of these doors and the surround. So next we've got to look at some windows. So let's grab some bits. Right, we've got some windows printed out. I've got some side dressings. These are to go at the ends of the wall so they fit together and it reduces the drawing line. It also protects the corners of your building. So we have our door cut. So make that about halfway. Using the grid here, one, two, three, four, five. So two and a half, one, two. I think it needs to go over. I did one a minute ago. I think this can go that way a little bit. One, two, two and a half. Yeah, somewhere around here. And if we go there, I'm aiming for 20 mil up. It's the easy way, two bits of phone core. Get a pen. I'll pick a different one that I can get the lid off. Just give yourself a guideline. Pop that out of the way. Bit of super glue. This is the thin super glue. Um, yes, it does melt the foam a little bit, but it doesn't matter because it's underneath. And you're going to put some Mod Podge and black on it anyway as another seal. So just do that. Line it up, Give it a push, Get it square to the edge. So that. So we have two windows. So next thing is we've got to cut these out. Well, there's an easy way to do this, so I'll go and grab a tool. Right, so I'm going to use a hot knife electric cutting machine pen toolkit it says. So it's quite a thin thing. Most people complain that they keep bending and breaking them. That's because they're actually using it for cutting big chunks. But for little things like windows and that, absolutely brilliant. So plug it in. Plug it in. And turn it on. Get them to warm up. So we cut them out. These ones aren't stuck on here. There go. So they go with the other walls. So these will dress just set fractionally bit over the two. So in reality, it comes up. that one will sit there. And that one is set like that. So I pop them out of the way in a minute. And it's starting to smolder, so it sounds which is always a sign that it's hot. We get up get a pen, just put it straight through, and use the window frame as a guide. Like so. And you can go a little bit deeper, just like that. And there you have it, that's a window cutout, so I'll lift this up and show you. There we go. So we've got a hole with this side. Right, so while we're cutting them, look at the other one. <coughs> so I'll let that warm up. So I'll have to turn it off. As you can see, we've got a nice clean hole. So you grab a window and stick it on the other side. Same again, just let the super glue and try not to stick it on your fingers. Like so, and there's my two little squares done. So I'm going to put these two little squares down. Just use this as a guide. So 
that looks pretty clean. See a nice window. That one's going over there out of the way. I'll cut the next one. The next one, same again. So I've got that at a slight angle. I'm coming at it at a slight angle. So it just goes straight through. Up to the top. And up the sides. Like so I'll just get it out. Or you can flatten it down. Either way it works, you just want a nice clean hole. And there you go. Let's so turn this off. Grab the super glue. And same again. So look. You can even get away with a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. You don't have to worry about the sides, it's more of a tack. Because when we'll podge and black it, it will go up to the edge and that will help seal it. So let's get this in position. Push. Takes a little while for the glue. Grab our Yeah. If you're not entirely happy with the, some of the blue showing, obviously it'll black out when you black it. You can try and put a door frame in. So we get our door cutter again. Push it through. Get our frame. And then some glue. Oops, a big lump. You blodge it, just rub it. Okay. Get that out of the way. At least stick the lid over the end so you don't stick it to your hand. Get a good push. You've got the support of the stamp below. Look out the stamp. That without sticking it to your fingers, and we have a door frame. Thinking that looks rough, but what you've got to remember is that will fit like so, so, like so. So it actually sits 10mm up on the other side. This time the stamp won't reach. Line this one roughly by an eye. Grab a door. Just use the base of the door. And line it up. And push the door out. Just like that. Now in. There's a tiny hole there. I think that'll fill to be honest. If you want to, you can fill that up with some little bit of mini pup. Which you won't notice when you paint over it. So that's those done. Alright, we're gonna do the ends. I'm hoping this PBA works. To be honest, you could even just do it in more podge and black. Just stick it. Just keep it level. That one goes on. Turn the other one. And we'll just actually work these together. Make sure it stands flat. And that's pretty good. dry so that corner is a lot cleaner right so I've stuck everything together um, you can see all the painting techniques I've used like on the bridge video and a couple of the others because they're all the same so we have our doorways our windows as you can see these corners actually work quite well 
They just give a little extra detail, but also they protect the corners. So you've actually got plastic corners. Didn't do it on the inside, doesn't really need it. And we have a couple of painted up doors, which do fit in, so these can be put in or taken out. They're a little bit tight, so I'll put them in a minute and show you. But I am working on some, say, better doors. These are resin printed, so I'm probably going to resin print them and cast them in future. So I'll pop this one in, as you can see it's a tight fit. So they do go. So you just pop that in. There we go. Something like that. And you're thinking, hang on, that's sitting up a long way. So I'll grab a tile and we can show you what it's like when it's on a proper layout. Okay, so here you can see the room we just built lined up with some more tiles we did earlier in our descent build. Right, there you have it. So we've done a room with some windows and doors. Um, couple of bits to point out along the way. Yes, we're actually melting the foam slightly with super glue, which is great because it actually beds the things in. Careful not to overdo it, otherwise you have to fill it in afterwards. Careful not to stick it to your fingers. I'm using the cheap, really watery super glue, so you're pretty well guaranteed to stick your fingers together at some point. But it works well with this. It gets rid of that sort of that looks stuck on because it's just that little bit bedded in. And when you put your layer of more potter and black on it just blends it in even a bit more. I didn't go through the painting techniques in this video because they're available on the dungeon tiles and the bridge build. It's basically the same technique repeated over. If it works, why well, play with it? Hopefully you found this week's video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, um, share it, subscribe, get it out there. I do have an apology. I know the lighting wasn't brilliant. I have changed shift at work, so I'm actually home in the evenings, where before I was filming in the mornings with daylight. Obviously that's going to change as the, sun, as the sun stays up longer in the year, but I'll be looking at some lighting and stuff, but obviously all money and investment, and as the funds come available I will do more to improve the quality of the channel. So please stick with me and enjoy the journey. And all that's left to say is, have a great week gaming, and I'll see you soon. Cheers! Again, and just tidy it up from the other side, preferably when the glue is stuck.